Hello everybody, so here I'm about to do a henna. I use cotton and baby oil. Also, I'm using, as you can see, a pad to kind of trace and see what designs I wanna do. Now, I got this packet from eBay. eBay, it took about, I'm gonna say two days, three days to get to me. I will put the link down at below. So I will be showing you guys that each tube is, it's a little bit small, but medium sized. So it, come, it came with a pack of six, six tubes. And I will be showing you right here what they look like. Now it came also with the small caps. I think they're used for either to cover the tube or to make the design a little bit bigger or smaller because they do come in different sizes. I'm going to show you that they came in big and they came in small, medium sizes. So I'm guessing you either wanna cut the ends or maybe you can use it as a cap for the tube so they don't expire. Now it came with black, white, and red. Tracing my hand gives me versatile of what I want to do with what style I want. So pretty much I was going to do a certain design but I decided not to do it so I went and did something simpler for you guys. Now what I do is I clip the ends of the two. Just kind of clip it a little bit. Depending, I think, depending on the size of the ink that comes out, you want to clip the ends maybe not too far out because then it'll come out really chunky, I guess you could say, as what I did. So I'm just going horizontally. I'm not the best perfect artist, but I'm just showing you an example of what you guys could do. This is actually kind of my first time using the henna without the stencil. So now I'm just going to make little lines on my, using the red ink. I didn't realize how bright the red ink would look on my skin, so when I was doing this, I basically was just making lines like a little star. And I think the red actually dried faster than the black henna ink. So because the red henna ink dried within one minute and the black dried within five. Also you guys, um, this gets a little messy so I would prescribe uh, to use gloves because if, say if you got your nails done and you don't have gloves on, the ink goes on your nails and it stains your nails. So that's one thing I should have have done. So pretty much I'm wiping off the white because like I said, the white just doesn't set. And I was just kind of irritated because I really wanted to use the white henna ink. I did put the white in between the black squiggly lines because I thought it looked cool. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just going to wipe everything off anyway because the white just doesn't set. But as you can see, the black henna did set and it made the design. Now I'm going to be using a baby oil and what the baby oil do does you guys is actually instead of the water I feel like the baby oil gets the ink a little bit off more easier the water actually what it does it wipes away all the henna 
and you'll be stuck with basically really light henna on your hand. But when you use baby oil, all that, it just makes it smooths away the ink faster and easier. My son, I'm not gonna lie, my son, he told me that it looked like I had marked myself with a permanent marker. And I started laughing, cause I was like, no, I didn't. He was like, mommy, what is that? Why does it look like a permanent marker? But you guys, yeah, so pretty much I'm just going in and I'm outlining it of where it was kind of light at. And also I think for next time, what I'm going to do is make the lines a little bit more skinnier, a little bit more tinier because I feel like uh, the designs that I did, I wanna make them smaller the next time. <laughs>